On January 17th, NASA plans to ignite the most powerful rocket it's ever built, the core liquid-fueled rocket of the Space Launch System. The Space Launch System has been in development for years. It's the rocket ship that NASA plans to use to send people to the moon in the next decade, if everything goes according to plan. The final version will have a central rocket and two solid rocket boosters strapped to the sides, but it's that central rocket that's going through testing right now. NASA is coming to the end of what it calls its Green Run program, a series of eight tests to make sure that the rocket is ready for an eventual true test launch. The eight tests started with just subjecting the rocket to extreme forces, seeing whether it could withstand the stresses of a launch without any fuel inside. And then they've done other tests along the way, building up to, in December, loading the rocket full of 700,000 gallons of supercooled liquid fuel, and then taking that fuel back out again. Everything's gone right so far, and now NASA is ready to light the rocket up. It won't go anywhere, but it will emit a powerful blast of energy simulating a launch at NASA's Stennis Space Center near Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. The eventual space launch system won't be quite as tall as the Saturn V rockets that carried the Apollo program into space in the 1960s and 70s for the original moon missions, but it will be more powerful, emitting about 15% more thrust during launch than the Saturn V rockets did. It also can carry way more useful stuff into space, certainly than a space shuttle, and significantly more than the Saturn V rockets as well. However, there have been delays before with the space launch system, and it remains to be seen whether things will continue to go according to plan with no problems. There are no promises in the world of rockets. <laughs>